Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the ninth tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about characters. Now, just as you have the integer data type for integers, you have the float data type for floating point values, you have a data type for characters too. And uh, you know, to create variables that can hold character values in C programs, you have to use the char keyword. Before we declare characters and before we use them, I just want to tell you guys that I've saved this file and it's called characters.c. On line one, you see a comment that says arithmetic operations and characters. On line two, you see the header file. On line three, I've declared the main function. I also have the curly braces. So now we can type in code. Now, you know, let me just create a few characters first. And as I said, you have to use the char keyword and uh, people call it char you can call it char you can call it whatever you want to but you know you should just know how you spell it so that's C H A R and uh, you know I'm going to create three character variables and I'm going to call them A B and C and I'm also going to create an integer and I'm, I'll tell you why I'm doing that later on but I'm just going to create an integer and I'm called I'm going to call it D right so I have four variables in my program and uh, Anything that's within two single quotation marks is considered as a character value in C, right? Or in most of the programming languages, as far as I know. So, you know, if you want to use a uh, small d as a character value, then all you have to do is put in two single quotation marks. So I'm going to initialize two of my variables here. I'm going to give the variable a the value capital A. And uh, what I mean is I'm going to give it the character value capital A by placing capital A within uh, two single quotation marks and I'll put a semicolon to terminate the statement and I'm going to give the variable b the value 4 and I'm not talking about the integer value 4 but the character value 4 right because 4 is a symbol just like alphabets are symbols you know numbers are also symbols and you also have special characters as symbols right so here I'm not assigned the value 4 to b but I've assigned the character 4 to b right so make sure you get that and I'll put a semicolon to terminate this statement. And now I'm going to just add these two characters. I'm going to add A and B. And I'm going to store the result of the operation to the variable C and also the variable D, right? So what I mean is I'm going to do this, C equals A plus B. And on the next line, type in D equals A plus B. Now let me first display the values that get stored in the variable C and D and then we're going to see what it act, what has actually happened, right? And to display the values, I'll obviously have to use the printf function. And uh, one thing that I want to tell you guys now is that just as you use the percentage %d format specifier to display integer values and you use the percentage %f format specifier to display floating point values, you have to use the percentage %c format specifier to display character values, right? So we're going to display first the value that's stored in character C in, in the variable C sorry so C equals and you type in percentage C because C is a character and uh, then you put a comma and just type in C because we are interested in the value of C on the next line we're going to display the value that gets stored in uh, the variable D so let me put a new line escape sequence there because we want to see this on a new line D equals percentage d this time because d is an integer and uh, you type in d you put a semicolon to terminate this statement save the file and i'll click on build and run to see the output and there you go you see c equals u and d equals 117 so you know if you don't know what has happened i'm just going to tell you guys so you know don't be perturbed and what has happened is that c has performed the addition operator on the ascii values of the characters and not on the characters themselves right so you know the ASCII value of the character capital A is 65 and the ASCII value of the character 4 is 52 if I'm not wrong and ASCII here is um, American Standard Code for Information Interchange it's basically a table of values that was created by this organization and it's used by you know all programming languages to manage characters and uh, you know if you don't know what has happened then you know you would just have to refer to the ASCII table and uh, you know just make a google search for ASCA values and you would see that the value for the character capital A is 65 and the value for the character 4 is 52. So you know when you see the uh, integer result of the addition operation you see that the value you know that we get is 117 because when you add 65 to 52 you get 117 
and uh, you see small u when you see the character result because the value, the character value that's associated to the ASCII value 117 is uh, small u. So the ASCII value of small u is 117. And, you know, um, I just wish I could explain this in a better way to you, but, you know, trust me, just refer to the ASCII table and, you know, this program is going to make perfect sense to you. And, um, you know, once again, uh, we perform the addition operate, operation on the ASCII values and not on the characters themselves. So we haven't added the character 4 to the character A, but we've added the ASCII value of character 4 to the ASCII value of character A, right? And uh, if you haven't understood, then don't worry, we're going to check out characters uh, in greater detail in this course later on in the coming tutorials. And we are uh, going to perform lots of other operations on characters. So, you know, just... Uh, make a note of this program for now if you haven't understood you can watch it again and you know i just hope that it makes sense to you so thank you so much for watching this tutorial i'm going to see you guys in the next tutorial we're going to discuss something interesting again so thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already